In this video presentation, we will discuss about Cypher Feedback Mode. What is Cypher Feedback Mode? Cypher Feedback Mode CFB, is a mode of operation for block cipher. It also is similar to Cypher Block Chaining CBC. It uses block cipher as a component for a random number generator. The cipher text is encrypted, and the output is XORed with the current plain text block, to produce current cipher text block. The figure on the left hand side depicts the overview of cipher feedback mode. In cipher feedback mode, the data encrypted, are in units smaller than block size. Besides that, cipher feedback mode is suitable for encrypting any number of bits, such as single bits or single character bytes, before sending across an insecure data link. Now, we will proceed to the encryption process. We are using DES block cipher as our example. Firstly, we will have an initialization vector IV, which can be of any bits depending on the user and type of encryption used. In this context, our initialization vector will be 64 bits because we are using DES block cipher. Then, we will have a key. Both the initialization vector and key will be the input for the encryption. During the encryption, the key will be used to encrypt the initialization vector. The output of the encryption will consist of two parts. The leftmost S bits will be selected, while the remaining bits will be discarded. Now, we will have the plain text in place. Then, both the S bits of the previous output and the S bits of plain text will be X or red. At the end of the X or red, zip text will be produced. The zip text will also be fed back to the shift register. This causes the leftmost S bits in the shift register to be shifted out. Then, the steps are repeated. These processes will be repeated until all the plain text have been encrypted. After encryption, we will now proceed to decryption process. Similarly, we are using DES block cipher in this example. The decryption of the cipher feedback mode is similar to how the data is being encrypted. The only difference is that the placement of the plain text and cipher text are switched, as shown. The decryption process will continue, until all the cipher text is decrypted. The end. Thank you for watching.